Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely wonderful to see so many people here. I said, do you think we'll get an audience? I think we have. I think we've managed to do that. It's a lovely evening to come out, beautiful surroundings in this church and um, everything else. So the concert tonight, we've got Cleogory Tui, that are over here. If you'd like to get yourselves ready, guys, and then we'll kick off in a minute. And then we've got Nefaini, harpists and dancers, all in the corner down there, which we'll hear later. We've also got David Kilgallen, who's going to play the organ. Some of you may know him, some of you may not. Um, but he's done lots of Manx arrangement or arrangements of Manx tunes and songs on the organ. So he's going to give a twiddle on that after Nefaini have done their first bit. At the end of the concert, there will be tea and coffee, there's homemade cakes, biscuits, and there's also a retiring collection, which I will remind people about. It's a free concert, but we might not let you out. tonight which one of these songs is about sea so that first song is a bit of a nonsense song um, it's about a boat fine boat sailing and the tide sort of comes in we're going to all sing along with it it doesn't actually mean anything um, the next one Shaylon Honic Me <coughs> which show at a slower pace is um, if you can I like to try and get a picture rather than give you the whole scenario so if you can imagine a young lady standing on the beach watching the boats coming in and out, she's looking for that fine boat that's bringing her man back to her, and he never, never uh, comes back. So she's left stood on the beach, all forlorn, all alone. <laughs> Yeah. 
was written by Liz, Liz Marshall, who lives in Ramsey, and her house overlooks um, Cross Ramsey, Ramsey Bay. Ramsey Bay, doesn't it? Yeah, Ramsey Bay, just over towards where the Grand Island used to be. And she was inspired when she saw Master Frank bobbing about. And nine years ago, she wrote this song for the Arenson Manor which is run by Fiona McArdle. And that song, if it wins, goes on to um, the Pan-Celtic in Ireland. Um, so we haven't done this. This, this is a, a new choir piece. We've done it as a smaller group before today. So we thought, well, we'll give it a whirl. Why not? <laughs> Show me Master Frank, show the jug and handle. Show me Master Frank, go to Lullaby. Show me Master Frank, show the jug and handle. I'll sit in the green and a brown and a Some hands and fish are shaking, but he won't have a bell or two. The grand and big and fish are taking shit in the sea. Show me Master Frank, show the jug and mentions Ramsey in it and this is Berlin Gorry Croven uh, also known as King Ori, Godred Croven and this is just a song about him coming from the Isle of Isla uh, west of Scotland traveling down <coughs> and landing in Ramsey Bay and um, as we know became King Ori so <coughs> Julian as well. Yes. It's just a superb location, especially for choirs and harps, so thank you. And um, we're Lefaney, we're actually a dance group and from about 35 years ago, but somewhere along the line we acquired several harps, so it's like 
Nathaney harps and dances, really, isn't it? Um, we we're going to have three harps tonight um, to start with, but it's kind of grown. <laughs> so thank you. We've got um, Lucy, who you'll hear later, but she's just come back from university yesterday and wanted to be with us. So thank you, Lucy. We've got Sophia on um, her harp too. Um, Sophia's just wonderful. She just is. <laughs> We've got Risa here who just is going to be a harpist, is that right? You're going to be a harpist. Yes, go for it. I love the ambition. We've got Maisie May right in the middle, who's the oh, well, apart from Lucy, is the oldest actually, but I can't say that really. She died and is in charge really. Then we've got Sophie here who's sitting here thinking, I've got to say something, but I've got to. But she's absolutely brilliant and she's rising to the occasion and this is all part of it, so thank you. We're very, very lucky to be joined tonight by Sophie's sister, who is year six. Yeah. Yep. She spent all week at the Venture Centre, so she'll be absolutely tired out, I think. Is that right? But she wanted to be here tonight because they've just had their lesson with Rachel Hair. So I said, come along, just come and join in. Right, yeah. And as well as the Venture Centre, she also managed to fit in the Folk Awards on Wednesday and did very, very, very well. And we're really, really proud of her, aren't we? So, um, two sisters tonight, great. Yeah. We separated them with <laughs> Isla, who, um, on the gorgeous harpist and dancer, she's also a swimmer. So I'm not sure how you do swimming and harping with your fingers, really, but thank you, Isla. Okay, and then we've got Two more dancers, Connie and Sean down here, who come to uh, join us. We'll see them do a dance with three later. Okay, yeah. So, Sophie, thank you. Hi, so the first tune we're going to play is a very well known Manx tune called Alden River. It's written by Paul Kringle, who is just down the road in Glen Alden. It's probably one of the first songs that many Manx harpists learn to play, so we hope you enjoy.
tune with Chloe Woolley at the Brie Culture Random Workshops. I also played this at the Mix Road Awards last week and I hope you enjoy. We all really enjoy playing these tunes as we like to race each other. We hope you enjoy.
Um, I'm going to play um, this from this book here, Celebration and Contemplation. Um, it's a book that was put together um, funded by Culture Van um, and put together by Bishop Madron and Chloe Woolley. But there's about eight uh, composers uh, on the island, all composed um, various organ pieces, and some of them are, are wonderful. Um, one of them is our, our own Rumsarian, Frank Woolley. I don't think he's here tonight, but um, I nearly ended up playing that, but I thought, no, I haven't. I'll dust off my one, which is um, called Scholig Egg. Um, and it's about, um, it's about a, a woman who's pining for um, the love of her life. Um, poor lady, and she keeps looking out the window and seeing him riding around on a, on a, on a black horse. Um, but she doesn't get together, she just dreams, I think, doesn't she, about get, getting old and, uh, and being old farmers. So uh, it's quite a sad piece. Um, but there are moments of pure frustration because I can feel a woman <laughs> wishing uh, and pining away. So this is this is Scully Egg. <coughs>
Kelly called the actor is she bumped in <coughs> snow. Now I know this year we had a bit of snow, but nothing like we had. I've seen all the pictures on Facebook popping up, I think 10 years ago or so, where it was up here somewhere. And sadly, you know, a lot of animals perished in that. This song here is um, <clears throat> written in the 1800s, I think. And uh, it was about the big snows back then. And we're asking the shepherds uh, the, to get up. Come on, come on, we've got to get up the mountain. And we've got to try and go and help get these sheep out of the snow drifts. <laughs> Um, and of course people are sick and illnesses, much like today really, but uh, that, that's what it's about. But there was one that we saved and um, it was the Lamb of God. <coughs> similar to the story David told us about the, the young lady. <clears throat> this young girl wants to get married, but Mother Karen was a miser. He would not pay a dowry, and he hid his money here and hid his money there and his, all his belongings. Um, and again, in the end, he paid so that she could get married, and men after that didn't like him very much because they then had to follow suit. So this is Mother Karen. <laughs>
is a Scottish tune called Looking at a Rainbow Through a Dirty Window, which is written by Callum Stewart, and it's um, one of our favourite songs to play. This is also Sue's favourite song. We hope you enjoy.
We'd like to thank Coach Ryan for helping us with our lessons with Rachel Hare, who's a brilliant teacher. And we'd also like to thank our parents for taking us here and for the support that they've given to us throughout all the years. For our final tune tonight, we'd like to play Miller Crane's March and Marina Gino. We hope you enjoy.